Have you ever finished an assignment and you just weren't sure if the APA formatting was correct? You're just second guessing whether your APA was done correctly? Well, today we're looking at a quick and easy way for you to scan your assignment and make sure your APA is A-OK. -okay. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Jess B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. I tell students that taking the time to check your APA before you submit it is no different than reading a text before we hit that send button, right? It's best practice to review and check your work, especially if we're being evaluated on it. Am I right or am I right? Now, I want you to imagine this for a scenario. You've just finished your writing and you've just finished your assignment in APA format. You've read it over a couple of times now. You think you've got all your citations, your reference list in order, and you're pretty much ready to submit it. But you're just not sure whether your APA is done correctly. If that's you, then I want to share one piece of advice. Before you go ahead and submit your assignment to your instructor, take five minutes to quickly scan and identify any APA errors. Trust me, it's simple and it's such an important step so that you don't lose any easy marks. Today, I'm going to walk you through four important areas of your paper that you need to look at before you submit it for marking. In fact, at the end of this video, I've got a free checklist that you can use to help quickly pinpoint any APA mistakes. Let's get into it, shall we? Tip number one, check your APA formatting. I always tell students to be sure to set the stage and create your assignment template before you even begin writing. So what types of things are you going to check? Well, check to see that there are page numbers on the top right corner of the header. Check that your whole assignment is double spaced. Check that the font theme and size are correct. Remember, there are only certain ones that are acceptable. I think they're 11 point Calibri, 11 point Arial, 12 point Times New Roman. I, I can't remember all of them, but now you get the point. You also got to check that your page margins are one inch or 2.5 centimeters on all sides, the top, the bottom, the left, the right, and check that all your paragraphs are indented by half an inch. I know, it's a lot to remember, I won't lie. If you wanna know how to create your APA assignment template yourself, stay locked into this video and I'll show you how at the end. Tip number two, check your title page. Your title page is the front page, the first impression. And we all know what first impressions mean, right? I mean, I remember my first impression when I met my husband. Okay, we're not gonna get into that. If I started marking an assignment, okay, back to professor mode, if I started marking an assignment and the title page was a complete mess, it left me with a bad first impression. And secondly, it set the tone for the rest of the time I was marking because I anticipated even more APA errors throughout the assignment. Not a good way to start marking an assignment, right? So bottom line, first impressions are everything. So make sure to get your title page right. Trust me when I tell you, your professors will notice. What needs to be included on the title page? Well, let's look at a couple of things. Let's take a moment to look at an example of your screen. Number one, is your title page information centered in the middle of the page, about three to four double space lines from the top of your page? Number two, is the title of the assignment bolded and in title case? Number three, did you ensure that you left two spaces between the title of the assignment and the author information? 
Number four, is your first name and last name listed as the author? Number five, is the department of your program listed with the name of your school? Number six, did you include the instructor's full name listed, including any appropriate prefixes like professor or doctor? And finally, number seven, don't forget to include the correct course code, title, and due date. If your title page includes all these elements, then trust me, your instructor will be more inclined and hopefully in a better mood to read the rest of your paper. Tip number three, check the body of your paper. Once you've moved past the title page, now you get into the actual body or the main part of your assignment. This is where you wanna be looking for a few major things. The first thing you wanna check in the body of your assignment are the headings. Is the assignment title centered and bolded at the top of the second page? Check to see also that your headings and subheadings are used appropriately. Remember that your level one headings are for your main sections and your level two headings are for your subsections. Okay, so if I'm totally confusing you right now and you don't know what the difference is between level one and level two headings, I would quickly check out some APA resources online so you're more familiar with those terms. Below in the description box, I've linked a few websites that you can walk through to learn more about how to use headings in your assignment. Another thing you wanna check is your paraphrasing. Now, hopefully you would have been given the talk already from someone in your school program about what plagiarism is and how you can avoid it so you don't get a red flag on your file or worse yet, remove from the program altogether. So to avoid plagiarizing, students are expected to paraphrase. Remember, paraphrasing involves restating another author's idea in your own words. In fact, your instructors prefer paraphrasing over using direct quotations because it shows that you're able to summarize and relate information from one or more sources. So ask yourself, have I paraphrased ideas or have I used direct quotes from a source? Do all of my paraphrases and direct quotations have in-text citations? Now remember, if you cite anything in the body of your paper, something we call in-text citations must be done, right? We give the full citation also in our reference list at the end of the assignment. Tip number four, check your reference page. Last but not least, you want to review your reference page. This page is important because it includes the necessary information for your reader to find and retrieve all the sources that you use throughout your assignment. So make sure that the information you include in your reference list is accurate and formatted correctly. Now, I don't know about other professors, but many professors I know, and me included, actually check the sources in your reference page. We check that they're legit and that the information you pulled from that source is accurate. So when you scan your reference list, you need to check for a number of things. Number one, is your reference list on a separate new page? Number two, have you included the word references at the top of the page centered and bolded? Number three, is the reference page double spaced? Number four, are the references listed in alphabetical order? Number five, does each reference entry include four elements, the author, the date, the title, and the source? Number six, have you used a hanging indent for each reference? Again, there are lots of things to scan and check when you take a look at your reference page. But overall, those things I mentioned earlier are some of the major parts of a reference page that go noticed if not done correctly. So if you're ready to submit that assignment and want to do one last check, zone in on those four important areas of your paper. Let's quickly review them together. Number one, general formatting. Number two, title page. Number three, the body of your paper. And number four, your reference page. To help you scan your assignment quickly, I've got a free APA nursing assignment checklist for you to download. All you need to do to get your hands on this checklist is simply click the link in the description box below and follow the steps to download it for free. That's it. 
If you found this information helpful, you'll want to watch this next video where I offer advice and strategies to use when talking to a professor about your marked assignment. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. <laughs>